Let me show you how it's set up and use your Gemini Assistant on your Google Pixel 10 and 10 Pro. So in your apps list, you will most likely have Gemini LED installed on your phone, so you can quickly launch it, or you can simply go in the Play Store and download once more. And once we uh, open for the first time, you will actually have to do like a quick setup, basically answer like a couple questions essentially. And then there are a few uh, different ways how we can actually launch the Gemini at any time on our phone. First, we can simply press and hold the a power button and see you can simply uh, like talk with the phone or also I can type here as well. Also I can open up the live mode as well for it so press and hold and press this thing here so on the right corner. Tell me something stupid. You know I once heard about a guy who tried to iron his shirt while he was wearing it. He said he wanted to save time. Can you imagine? Ouch. Okay, and also we can actually open up this uh, like camera mode as well. Hey, can you tell me something about this? That's a beautiful artificial lotus flower. Did you make it yourself? Okay. It looks very delicate. Hey, so how can I tell it's actually fake and not real? Yes, the flower you're holding appears to be artificial. The petals look very uniform in shape and texture, and the colors are very consistent, which is less common in real flowers. Plus, the base looks like it might be made of clay or a similar material. Is that right? Uh, almost right. Hey, uh, do you know what are the smartwatch? Can you research what are the models of them? Sure. The watch on the left is a Garmin Instinct 2 Solar, and the one on the right is an Honor Band 6. Do you have any other smart devices you'd like me to identify? Uh, which one do you think uh, has mo got more accurate heart rate sensor? While both watches have heart rate sensors, the Garmin Instinct 2 Solar on the left is generally considered more accurate for fitness tracking. The Honor Band 6 on the right is a good entry level. Okay, but uh, that's actually not the Garmin Instinct watch. Research better. What is this watch? You're right, my bad. That's a Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro. It's a high-end multi-sport watch with advanced features. Hey, Anything else uh, I can help you with? Can you tell what time does it show at the moment? The watch shows that the current time is 12.03 p.m. And what is this uh, band of for it made from? It looks like that band is made of silicone. Is there anything else you'd like to know about the watch? And where can I purchase these bands uh, for this watch? You can find replacement bands for the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro at most major retailers that sell watches or online at Amazon or eBay. Do you know you what, what is this? Hey, do you know what is the size of the strap for it? The Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro uses 22 millimeters bands. Anything else you'd like to know about it? Okay, so you see, actually pretty cool. By the way, this is actually not a Garmin watch, so it, it's not obviously like, yeah, super, super accurate, but still uh, for most tasks, it's actually good. And also we can remotely start the assistance well by simply saying, hey, Google, but we actually have to set it up first. Uh, so uh, let's go in the Google app. So in the app folder, simply open this Google here, click here. Then settings, click Gemini here. Uh, hey Google and voice match and make sure to enable it here. Also in the next step, we'll have to say hey Google to match or voice to it. Hey Google. Okay. And then you can pretty much uh, at any time, yeah, basically uh, summon it and ask it to do anything or research something for you or whatever. For example, hey Google. Hey Google. Set a timer for five minutes. I've set a timer for five minutes. So yeah. It will go up. Pretty cool. Good luck.